else is a geek who hears a geek. Yes. All right. This is going to be a good presentation. First off, um, does any, does nobody use Tick Track? I think this is going to change your guys' life. I, I I swear I don't represent them, and they have no they have no idea who I am. I don't I don't even use it that much, but I think it would appeal to you guys very very much. Um, it's a, a correlation engine, so you plug in like a bunch of your different profiles for tracking data, and then it comes up with graphs, and it says this affects that. So anyway, I think, I think you guys would like that. OK. Um, I built an app called Habit RPG, and it's a, um, it is a habit tracker which treats your goals like a role-playing game. So if you do good at your habits, like if you take the stairs instead of the elevator, you get experience points, and you get gold and silver. A little bit. I'm going to do the mobile kind of look right here because it's let me see, actually maybe I can do this. There we go. Um, and if you do poorly at your tasks, if you take the elevator instead, you lose hit points. And if you lose enough hit points, you die. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to start over, and you have to use two tokens to start. It's a, it's a kind of a motivator, like don't die um, because it's painful. Um, you, well, you, you start over, you lose your level, and you lose all the armor and weapons and stuff that you uh, uh, gain. So, so here's my character. Um, uh, you can see he's a level three, and he has leather armor and the second sword, right? <laughs> And okay, so here's how it works. You have habits that you want to track on a consistent basis, like taking the stairs or eating junk food. Um, they can either gain points or they can lose points. Um, it also uh, it has an API, and I use Pomodoro. Does anybody else use Pomodoro? Uh, pro there we go. Productivity tracker. So um, let's see if it works right now. It's kind of it's a little bit buggy. This is just me, and it doesn't make any money, so bear with me. Um, uh, if, if I start a Pomodoro session, it should show up here. There we go. I lost, or I lost hit points because I actually stopped a Pomodoro session. So it has an API, and, and it plugs into your habits column. So that should count for any of these other services you guys use, like Fitbit and um, uh, MyFitnessPal and all these things. Um, I'm working on integrating those into the habits column. Then there's the dailies, and the dailies are things that you want to do on a scheduled basis. So either <laughs> once a day or once um, every, we'll go back to the mobile view, once on a scheduled basis. So if I deactivate it, um, let's see, what's today? Tuesday. So if I deactivate it for Tuesday, it grays out. So those are the dailies. If you don't complete them by the end of the day, then you lose hit points. If you do complete it by the end of the day, you gain experience of gold, and it unchecks itself. And then there's to-dos, which are one-off items that you want to do only one, once and only once, and you get experience for completing them. And then eventually, you cash in your money that you've accrued, gold and silver, for re custom rewards. So, um, copy, right? I want it to be two gold points, and uh, I'll cash in for that. And so I spent the money. Uh, eventually, if you play the game long enough, you unlock here, over here, you see the in-game items, so weapons, weapons increase the experience gain for habits, armor decreases hit point loss, and then potions, of course, heal your hit points. All right, so mm -hmm. that's my app, Habit RPG. I'm building a mobile app right now. I've got a Kickstarter thing going on, but uh, it's, um, yeah. So what have I learned from it? I have learned a very, very valuable lesson, especially if you want to track multiple habits and improve the whole spectrum of your life. And it's that you, are off, you often focus on the thing, the habit that you're trying to develop, which is the easiest for you. For example, Mint, uh, if anybody uses Mint, um, I made it a habit for myself to check Mint every day and categorize my transactions. And it, this is color-coded, so the more, the, uh, like, the more you use something, the greener it gets, like the better you are at habit, the greener it gets, and the worse you are at habit, the redder it gets, and the red habits hurt you more than the green habits. I found mint being blue, which means like don't even bother, you, you are awesome at this, and everything else being pure red, meaning like I don't, you know, the, the stu it, it's kind of this vicious cycle. The things that are easiest for you that you're trying to implement as a habit, you focus on the most, when in fact what you should be doing is making everything yellow. You should be focused all across the board. It is true that, you know, they say like, uh, repeat something 21 times or something like that and it becomes a habit. Yes, but uh, that's, I don't think that's the goal when you're trying to improve kind of the breadth of your life. You should be really focusing on not letting the things that also matter drop off the face, off your plate. So 
Um, whatever solution you use, whether Habit RPG or not, um, make sure not to focus too much on the habits you're trying to implement, which are ex extremely easy for you. Um, what else? I don't know. Questions? I was, it was kind of a one lesson. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> So what, so what I'm working on uh, is groups integration. So over here to the right of the bar, there'll be like five people you can invite from your Facebook profile and you can compete with them. It'll give you higher motivation because it's uh, accountability partners, right? And if they are just dominating you, if you're level one with no armor and weapons and you're like at half hit points and they're like level 100, like they can pose, they can add things to your list which are just challenges and they'll be quests. I'm also working on tags for, so, so if you have multiple habits which are tagged under the same category, if you complete all of them, the last one becomes a boss. <laughs> <laughs> How do I prevent cheating? Yeah. How would they cheat? Well, for example, they could just fill out those pomodoro. Oh, yes. Well, so you can't, so the idea is you can only have five people in a group. So they're people that you have explicitly invited and they've invited you back. So it's like, I trust you. You're my friend. You're not like some, some person off of the list serve, you know. So they could cheat, but they're, they'd be a douchebag. Um. <laughs> um, what did you find, how did tracking this change the way you thought about things? Really, what I'd said earlier, specifically with the um, focusing on multiple across the board, th th the strangest thing, so I'm a, I'm a big fan of Anki. Does anybody use Anki um, flashcards? So I thought that that was going to atrophy the most because that was like, I, it requires 25 minutes of my day. But Google News, which for me requires five minutes a day, went almost black. Like everything else was yellow, Anki was slight pink, and then Google News was just pure red. So it just taught me, it taught me to focus on things I didn't realize were, s were so bad in my habit world, you know what I mean? Um, as well as to stop focusing on the things that I didn't realize were already a habit. So once that happens, I just delete it um, because I didn't, I didn't know that it was been, it's been in blue. And it has this little, um, it has this progress bar, so I've, I've got spikes, like, <laughs> right? So I start off really good and they're like, well, I guess that was Christmas, so that doesn't really count. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but like, you have it on the, on the tasks too. So if it's been like up, just flat bar, like in the sky forever, just delete it. You know what I mean? Uh, is, is it mine? Yes, habitrpg.com. Okay, so you're running a local server for the, for the demonstration. Yeah. So, um, so you have a bunch of red stuff right now. Because I'm on mm -hmm. local. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is actually, this is live right here. That's live. Uh, okay, so then. I'm all red. Is it? So, <laughs> so do you, did you like decide, you, when you decide to shed habits, like you put so many habits on, you're like, these are the habits I want to have. I think what's, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to go try this like later tonight. And I'm going to put all these habits in and there, a bunch of them are going to go red because frankly, I wish I did more than I can. Do, right. Which is part of what I learned from like scheduling my time and realizing I can't do all that. So do you, when you start like cutting off um, like, yeah, I can't do that. Habit. You just hang out with it for a while. I found there were there was stuff that I was like, uh, <coughs> actually, um, I th thought I had deleted this one earlier. Review Pivotal Tracker, Asana, and Workflowy every morning. <coughs> that got read, and uh, you can reset. Actually, I, I implemented this feature reroll um, for people who are like, I'm pure red and I can't survive. Every morning I die. I'm like, just reroll. <laughs> 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 So I re-roll and re-roll and re-roll, but this one always goes red, and I actually didn't delete it this morning. I think this is an older snapshot. Um, I realize I don't, I don't really need it that much. Like you just hang out with it, and over over time you realize because things are hurting you, like you you do review it. You know what I mean? You're like these things are hurting me a lot. You're like you know what? I don't need that actually. Um, so you do you get rid of it? Yes. Um, because the hurt, the hurting is the gap between who you are and who you want to be. <laughs> right. Yeah, like. I don't know. I, I'm just <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to tweet that right now. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you just hang out with it for a while. And I found over time, and this could just be me because I built it and so I'm very intimate with it, right? 
but I've never gone below this threshold. Exercise, I think, is my last item. Uh, brain game. Okay, jobsy. Um, but I haven't gone below that, and I've been adding new tasks. Uh, I, I add new tasks every week. And I don't go through and prune it on a weekly basis to make sure it's, I'm not overdoing it my, to, to me, to myself. Um, <coughs> it's just a natural kind of like, you realize over time um, this, this isn't worth kind of implementing as a habit. The rewards on the right, and uh, do you think that's like a, a universal drive for anybody using this app, or would it only work for people that are gamers? And that's no rewards. rewards are essential. Like yeah. multiple books, uh, multiple multiple blogs do devoted to habit habit building and all these things. Rewards are essential. And at first, I didn't have an in-game um, system. I just had custom rewards like coffee and one-hour Game of Thrones and all that stuff. And I found I didn't use that much, and a couple of my users chimed in. They're like, you know, it's not really helping me that much. So I implemented the, the, the and these won't be that great until. Do you the think you have to make them like real world physical rewards, or can it be a, a gold coin? Like that's what I picture as being a gamer reward, but like chocolate cake, that might be a real world reward for somebody here. Well, I mean, the, 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 the over here, um, let me see if I could actually zoom in. As you can see, the, the current implementation is in game. Does this work? There we go. In-game items, which are virtual. So you have gold points that you're cashing in for chain mail. You know what I mean? It's not a physical reward. Right. And that will show on your avatar. And then once groups is implemented, you, people will see you're wearing chain mail and you're better than them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, it's kind of an ego. <laughs> that, that's what I mean. That seems like a gamer motivation rather it is. than a regular person motivation. That's Sorry true. to say. That's, I mean, but it is habit RPG. You know what I mean? Like yeah. It appeals to a very select crowd. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Could you just make uh, custom sprites and custom rewards for the, your character? You cannot. Uh, it's it's eventual eventual goal. It's a little bit down the pike. Although the Kickstarter, one of the reward or one of the <laughs> items is going to be like a custom, a custom weapon. Yeah. Just for this. I, if I was using this, I would definitely want to uh, make my own so that then I'm like really embodying it. <laughs> Give him like a cat helmet and like a <laughs> raccoon tail. <laughs> <laughs> Laser blast. <laughs> uh, do you delete habits that you are blue for a very long time? Yes. Because you kind of like integrated that into your. It's not system. integrated. Uh, it's not implemented as like a uh, automatic feature, although that's planned. Um, but currently, if it's blue and I look at the uh, progress bar and it's just blue, I just delete it if it's been blue for like a few weeks. Um, I agree that uh, the tangible rewards are much better. My uh, grandson Jack. Um, until a couple of weeks before Christmas, wasn't potty trained. And it turns out there's an app called Naughty or Nice. You point it at um, the uh, the child, and um, you get a reading whether they're naughty or nice. So when he was uh, pooping his pants, you get a really decided naughty reading. And when you go uh, begrudgingly to the potty, you get this incredible one um, for nice. And lo and behold, he got all his Christmas presents, and he's now a potty trainer. Rub <laughs> <laughs> his nose on the phone. Just throw him outside. <laughs> there's there's uh, uh, a contradiction to that. Robert Cialdini, who, who uh, wrote a book called Influence, and he's been studying this stuff for a long time. Really good book. Um, he, he was working with um, Energy Conservation in California, and what they found that was that made a difference is if you had a, a measure that looked at how you were performing in terms of energy efficiency in your household <coughs> and in your neighborhood. And then if you were a higher performer, two smiley faces. And that really made a difference, just the smiley faces. But certainly having a peer group that you can measure yourself against, and then having a reward, whether it's a physical reward, or just some chainmail. Yeah, chainmail. <laughs> it makes a difference. Last question. Um, yeah. So I've noticed with things that I want to do that um, I'm actually like more productive in the long term if I have like a day off of like I don't have to do this today and like a free for all. <coughs> and I guess yeah. So I'd ask you if like you built that in to like shut it off for a day. And kind of. You. you can to you can like toggle the day. Like I turned it off for the month of December. <laughs> but but uh but it's kind of a pain in the ass like you have to go through every single what's that
You're lucky you got your Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> they pointed at it at me and they're like, bah. Um Yeah, you can, you can, these little day toggles, you can disable all of those for. And would you, by looking at your data, would you agree with that? That it's like having rests from it is good? Uh, I don't know, actually. That's a good question. I haven't, I haven't monitored that. Um, um, although I do find that it's, it's actually very. This is a very easy game. Uh, you, it's very difficult to die. I'm, I'm like one of the only people all in the reds, and I just re-rolled anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, like, but the idea is, you, um, it gives you enough leeway to focus only on the stuff you're doing poorly on to ignore the stuff that is okay in your in your box. So it gives you enough of a break, you know what I mean? Um, but that's a good question. I'll, I'll try that. I'll, I'll toggle it for like a week and just see if I'm, if I get enough rest, kind of. All right, thank you.